place is in the middle of Tokyo near Shinjuku Station and um, God, this is really cool. It doesn't really feel real that I'm here yet. Just eight hours ago, I was in Sydney, but now... chocolate was it as well? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Pistachio white chocolate and like custard? Wait, is that custard or...? I think it's milk chocolate, not white chocolate. Milk with the white? Maybe. Uh, yeah, that's it. You hear that? Yeah, that's crispy. You know this is great green almonds or something like that? Green almonds? Yeah. I like Thank you so much, bro. Dude, that's crazy. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Fish on. Oh, cute. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. That is really cool. It's like really well painted. Hard to get it. I hope it's my boots. What? I thought all you could get was like these three boots. It's just like the boots I have. No, no way. Look, it's one out of like, what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven choices and I got the one that is in a pair of boots. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> what? Wait, this is so useless. One, two, three, four, five, six boots. One of them is a care set. I got the care set. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I bought a couple of things. So very grateful and very excited because I have the opportunity to travel back to Japan, but I've gotten the opportunity to travel there for work. And so I decided I should purchase a couple of things in preparation for it which is what I've got right now. <laughs> Let's open some stuff. Now firstly, very boring, but very necessary SD cards. So something I learned early on in my photography videography career is that rather than having one really big SD card, it's much more safe to have multiple smaller SD cards because if your SD card corrupts, then you lose everything. If I have like double this, let's say 300 gigs, and I'm filming a full day's worth of stuff and I lose it, then I lose everything. But if I'm shooting between a couple of discs, then not only can I categorize one event for each thing, I'm also not risking losing everything at once. I bought some more Instax film as well. This is 40 film pieces and I'm hoping to bring this to Japan and shoot some stuff with my RZ67. I made a video about it if you want to check it out. It's very cool. I get to make pictures like um, I'm hoping to create a lot of cool work when I'm over in Japan using the Instax film because I think it's such a fun and playful approach to photography that I'm really enjoying. Now since I'll be traveling a little bit I was considering bringing my tripod but I came to a different solution which is a smaller tripod. Now I'm hoping to bring more vlog style content to the channel here and in doing so I thought buying a smaller tripod like this which would be a lot more easier to carry around and would be nicer and more usable for me to actually film stuff. This is the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. Let's open it up. Well, it's a lot more plasticky than I had 
thought it would be, but it's very lightweight because of that. The main thing that I wanted from this is it's small, so I can carry it, but also the uh, legs, they spread out like this and they can extend. It also has this ball head that I can just twist and it'll like move it around. Now I bought this because there's another item I have that I want to attach to it and that is the Moment MagSafe mount for iPhone. Now to be honest this was a little bit expensive but I'm hoping this will make my life so much easier when it comes to filming with the iPhone. Anyways. So this is the Moment MagSafe mount. Essentially your phone can just magnetize to this which then attaches to the tripod. So in my mind, holding this and my iPhone allows me to just... Is that so? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not gonna fall off uh, unless you really force it to. So yeah, hopefully this is really easy to use. Upgrade my vlogging experience a little bit. Make it a bit easier so I can bring you guys along and all that good stuff. Anyways, that's the little haul. Yeah. Hi there. So I've made it to the accommodation. This place is in the middle of Tokyo near Shinjuku Station. And um, God, this is really cool. It doesn't really feel real that I'm here yet. Just eight hours ago, I was in Sydney, but now we're back. Yeah, we just landed. I got unpacked. My room's just in here and I've got this awesome view of the city. Now, one thing I did forget to pack though was um, toothbrush and toothpaste. So on the plane I felt kind of gross but I'm gonna go to a convenience store because I need to grab that stuff. Maybe bring some other stuff home as well. Um, yeah, let's see. Let me show you my room real quick. This deep moist moisturizes. This is the best. <laughs> this is um this is so good bro. Sparkling water, uh -huh. lemon. If you've watched my videos before, you'd know that I love this. Wilkins lemon water, it's like, it's the best. They didn't have the cream puff I wanted, so I got like a merong pang with fresh cream in it. I think it's probably the same. Mmm. 
So I got toothpaste and a toothbrush, mission complete. Um, I got to eat soba and I got some goodies from the convenience store, which was always fun, always fun to visit. But yeah, I'm in Japan now and I'm gonna be here for a couple of weeks. So I plan on taking a lot of photos. I got this little thing. This is a Nikon F3 and I'm very excited to play around with this and see what kind of photos I can take with it. Apart from that, I plan to do some shopping, just chilling out. I'm gonna go camping at Mount Fuji. That's very exciting. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.